I'm Devin Thorpe for Your Mark on the World, and I'm excited to have from Northern Idaho a guest who is doing something you won't believe if you don't know about it already. He's building roads out of glass to put uh, solar panels onto the roads. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm excited to learn more. Please welcome uh, with us today Scott Broussard of Solar Roadways. Scott, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, Scott, uh, tell us a little bit about where this crazy idea came from. <laughs> it came from my wife, actually. <laughs> okay. uh, Julie and I have known each other since we were three and four years old, and her mother used to babysit me when my mother worked. And back then, I had a, a slot car track, which is an electric road and electric vehicles. And I thought if kids could, if they make real roads electric, then kids could drive. And that thought stuck with me my whole life. Uh, I mean, later on, I had electrical engineering degrees and no longer wanted kids to drive, so I had no further reason to want to build an electric road. But about 10 years ago, all this uh, talk of global warming began hitting the nightly news. And Julie turned to me one day and she says, remember those electric roads? Couldn't you make those out of solar panels? And I just kind of laughed and said, no, solar panels are very fragile. You can't even drive, you can't step on them, let alone drive on them. But the seed was planted, and uh, I came back around with that about a week later, and we started brainstorming. We thought, if we could make a structural engineered case to protect the solar cells, something like the black box of an airplane, whatever those are made out of, then we could feasibly make this. And we looked up the two top materials research universities in the nation, and uh, we visited both of them, and they both told us the same thing, use glass. And even I was skeptical back then, because, you know, I think of uh, kitchen window glass, I can just toss a cup in here coffee cup do that with no effort at all. They said, no, think of bulletproof glass and bomb resistance glass. And basically it's tempered glass that's laminated together that makes it super strong. Scott, did we lose you there? Scott, can you hear us? Well, let's see if uh, Scott reconnects here. The uh, Scott, are you there? We lost you there for a second. Scott, are you back? Scott, can you hear us? Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. I'm sure sorry about this. It's ironic with the most technical person I've talked to all day that we're having technological problems, but Scott, can you hear me? So you can hear me and I can't hear you. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what happened because a moment ago I could. Try it again now. Say something for us, Scott. Still can't hear you. You look good. You're a handsome guy as ever. Uh, can't hear you, Scott. Can't hear you. Uh, let me suggest, Scott, a crazy solution to this since you can hear me. Why don't you go ahead and uh, disconnect and then reconnect? And uh, I suspect that will uh, get you back online. And uh, I will uh, I will wait patiently while you do that. Just disconnect from the call. Just close the window and then uh, click on that link I emailed you again, and and that'll get you back in here. Okay. All right, everybody. Please be patient with us for a minute while we get uh, Scott back on the line so we can finish his story about uh, the glass roadway. It's really a remarkable. Uh, <clears throat> remarkable technology he's developed and it's really quite far along. Scott, can you hear us now? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you too. That works much better. So finish telling your story about uh, about the uh, glass roadway you were building. I don't know where I left off. <laughs> where did I get cut off? Well, uh, why don't you uh, pick up with the, uh, the choosing the glass, throwing the coffee cup through the uh, window. Uh, the two um, materials universities told me to use glass, and I was very skeptical, and I said, don't think of kitchen window glass, think of bulletproof glass and bomb-resistant glass. And basically, I make that using layers of tempered glass laminated together, and that's what we've made. And so we subjected this, uh, you know, my next big thing, a lot of, uh, the question we get a lot of is what happens when it rains, aren't we all going to slide off the road? 
So we put a traction surface on it. We kept uh, sending us off to a traction testing lab at a civil engineering uh, university. And we got more and more aggressive until finally they called me and they said, you got to back off a little bit. You just tore the boot off the machine that we tested with. <laughs> but we had actually exceeded you know, concrete and asphalt, so we settled on a, a texture. And I said, okay, in layman's terms, what will this do? They said, that'll stop a vehicle traveling 80 miles an hour on a wet surface in a required amount of distance. So we were happy with that. Then we did load testing. And they did multiple load tests. I, I laughed because I had to send off $13,000 with a beautiful glass to be destroyed just to see how much it could handle. <laughs> That's ironic. Did we lose you again, Scott? Appears we're having a uh, more technical difficulty here, Scott. Uh, can you hear us? Can you hear us, Scott? Scott, are you there? Scott, can you hear us now? Okay, Scott, we, it, whether or not you can hear us, we cannot hear you. Uh, so we're back in that same situation we were in a minute ago. Why don't we try one more time? Scott, let me invite you to disconnect and reconnect following that same protocol. And we'll see if we can't get the rest of this story. Yeah, this is uh, remarkable. So, so Scott has uh, developed uh, a glass uh, surface now and uh, for his electric roadway uh, that he was inspired as a kid to create. Now we've got to figure out what goes under the glass. So Scott, are you back there? I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes. So tell us a little bit about what you put in the glass. Now that you've got the great glass surface, what do you put under the glass? All right, we have solar cells, LEDs, and a heating element. Solar cells collect energy, of course, and uh, if you got it in a park, not it'll feed your building. If it's on your drive, it'll feed your home. If it's on a road, it can feed both or to carry it wherever it needs to go. Uh, we live in a northern climate, so we knew the solar cells, if you have solar panels on your roof and it snows, they stop producing. So we couldn't allow that to happen to the road or the park or the driveway, so we added heating elements. And the heating elements should keep it just barely above freezing so the snow and ice can't accumulate. You also can't paint road lines or parking lot spaces on top of solar cells, so we put LEDs inside to illuminate the road lines. We saw a study in the UK where they used uh, what they called solar road studs to show where the lines were at night. They said it reduced nighttime accidents by 70%. Wow. That's amazing. It would make, you can see what a tremendous difference that would make in safety. Uh, are the solar power, are you able to generate enough electricity from the solar cells to, to cover not only the heating and, and the lighting and with some surplus, or do you use all of the power you generate to accomplish the, the tasks of the road? Well, in the winter time or at night, for instance, you still have to keep the road clear, producing power at night. So we have, it, we have what we call a virtual grid. During the day, we put all our excess power back onto the grid, and at night, we draw it off. So if you, you have to go over the period of a year to see if it works in your location. For instance, here in North Idaho, at, uh, in January, we did a lot of our testing. The sun is just barely above the horizon. So you're not getting a whole lot of solar gain, but you still have to activate those heaters. So in the wintertime, we may use more energy, whereas in the summertime, where you're not using the heaters. I mean, the LEDs are virtually negligible by comparison, but we'd be, we'll be spinning our heaters backwards in the summertime. So we've just begun testing in January, and every month, of course, we're getting more and more power. So when we get a full year's worth of data, we'll see. What does your modeling suggest? Oh, no, it looks like we lost you again, Scott. Well, Scott, it's a shame uh, that we uh, keep having these technical difficulties. Uh, it's a remarkable technology you've got, and uh, I am excited to learn more about it. Uh, Scott, we've lost you again. Uh, I, it appears again that we can't hear you. We can see you again now, but we can't hear you. Um, so I'm going to ask you to disconnect and reconnect one last time, and we'll wrap up quickly, okay? Scott, were you able to hear me? I, yeah, there we go. So Scott's, Scott's going to reconnect again. Uh, I apologize 
uh, for the technology today. It's a, a, a tragedy that as we talk about high tech, that we're being constrained by technology. Uh, but uh, Scott's back. All so right. Glad to have you back. Why don't you uh, tell us where people can go to learn more about what you're doing and how they can help? Well, we've got a, a website, solarroadways.com. It's got a lot of information on the FAQ page, the numbers crunched, and uh, all the things we're doing. Got a lot of paid pictures of our prototype parking lot there. We're also running an Indiegogo campaign to raise funding to start hiring engineers and go into production. Uh, you can go to our website and find that, too. We also have a Facebook fan site. You can join us there. Great. So how much money have you raised on your Indiegogo campaign so far? <clears throat> uh, when I left the house to come to town here, we were up to 155000 that's amazing. It's an, a remarkable amount of money. I congratulate you for su your success in, in crowdfunding, Scott. So again, the, uh, your URL is solarroadways.com, and they can find a link there to the Indiegogo campaign as well, right? Correct. All righty, Scott. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, let's do some good. All right. Thanks a lot.